Good evening everybody, I am Dilna Koskoda and the topic of the research is Goal Framing Effects in Judgmental Adjustment of System-Based Inventory Order Decisions. My supervisor is Dr. Niras Pereira and thanks to my supervisor, I was able to get the expert collaboration with Prof. John Aloysius from University of Arkansas, USA. I will start the presentation by explaining the background of the research. There are two main parts of the background. First one is the system recommendation part and the second one is the goal framing effect part. Let's begin with system recommendation part. In inventory management, inventory decision makers are responsible to hold inventories at the lowest cost while maintaining an uninterrupted upstream and downstream flow. There are many cases that the decision makers fail to meet the optimal results due to poor inventory control decisions. As a solution, organizations employ automated inventory replenishment systems and these systems recommend order quantities to decision makers to place with their suppliers. However, when the demand forecast does not reflect the demand realization or if the decision makers do not trust the system, then they try to improve their performance by judgmentally adjusting the system recommend order quantities. Therefore, we use a behavioral lens to investigate the ordering behavior of decision makers faced with system recommendations as such attempts do not appear to have been considered in the extant literature. Coming to the goal framing effect part. Framing effects. Framing effects are a phenomena in which humans make different decisions for objectively identical problems based on the way they are presented. Levin ETL 1998 classified three framing effects namely risk choice framing, attribute framing and goal framing. In goal framing effect, an option is described as a relatively good thing to perform under both positive and negative frames. However, in the positive frame, the action is performed to obtain a gain. And in the negative frame, the same action is performed to avoid a potential loss. As Toka ETL 2016 highlights, except for the goal framing effect, other framing effects have been prominent research areas in inventory control. According to the literature, although the goal framing effect have been examined in the literature under multiple contexts, it has not been examined in a new vendor setting when decision makers have access to automated system recommendations. Moving to research questions and research objectives. Our first research question is, what is the impact of system recommendation on replacement decision making in a new vendor setting? And it is followed by the second research question that is, is there a relationship between trustworthiness of the system recommendation and order adjustments? Our third research question is, what is the impact of goal framing effect on replacement decision making when decision makers are given system recommendation? In order to find answers for these research questions, we develop two research objectives. The first objective is to investigate the decision makers ordering behavior when they are given with system recommendation. And the second objective is to investigate the decision makers ordering behavior in the presence of goal framing effect. Moving to methodology section. Methods comparison. When I reviewed the literature, I found five methodologies, namely laboratory experiments, field experiments, analytical methods, surveys, and case studies. I used this comparison chart to decide the appropriate methodology for the research. At the bottom of the slide, you can see all the parameters which were used to compare these methodologies. For example, if we get the cost effectiveness parameter, out of all these five methodologies, laboratory experiments has the high value. And if we take the ease of generalized finding parameter, again laboratory experiments has the highest value. When I carefully studied these five methodologies, I understood and decided laboratory experiment would be more appropriate for the research. Here I will explain about our laboratory experiment. We designed a computerized laboratory experiment using R language and R shiny web application. 171 undergraduate students studying supply chain and operations management courses were recruited as participants. The participants were randomly assigned to one of four treatments. It had 40 rounds inclusive of 10 practice rounds and those practice rounds were given to familiarize participants with the task and the software platform. Participants were given 60 seconds to determine and enter their replacement quantities in each round. In this laboratory experiment, except for the control group, other treatments included the system recommendation. If the participants do not trust the system, they are free to adjust the system recommendation or else they could use the exact system recommended order quantity as their order quantity. However, the decisions of the participants in positive and negative treatments were framed as profits and losses respectively. 
This slide illustrates the dashboards of the main experiment panels for all treatments. Going to the results and discussion section. We utilize ANOVA analysis and there are three main analytical outputs. The first one is the effect of system recommendation and the second one is the order adjustments and trustworthiness of the system. And the third one is goal framing effect. I will explain one by one as we proceed. When it comes to the effect of system recommendation analysis, we investigate the impact of system recommendation by comparing the average order quantities. Our results of ANOVA analysis indicate a significant difference in ordering behavior. The decision maker tends to order large quantities when they are not equipped with system recommendations. This, re this results led us to our first finding that is ordering behavior of decision maker is more likely to change when they are given system recommendation. The result of ANOVA analysis confirms a significant difference in cost between the two groups. Further, we identified that the average cost of decision makers in the neutral treatment was 32.24% less than those in the control group. Therefore, we suggest that having the system recommendation help to improve the replacement decision in a new center setting. When it comes to order adjustments and trustworthiness of the system analysis, our results of the system trustworthiness illustrate that the percentage of participants who have ranked the trustworthiness of the system as high is greater for positive and negative treatments than the neutral treatment. Based on that observation, we found that the decision makers in the both positive and negative treatment tend to trust the system more than those who were in the neutral treatment. This might be the impact of having goals. Since decision makers in the neutral treatment did not have a specific goal, they might not see the importance of trust in the system. However, decision makers in the positive treatment might consider system recommendation as the profit maximization quantity, whereas the decision makers in the negative treatment might think of the system recommendation as the cost minimization quantity. Therefore, they are more likely to trust the system than those in neutral treatment. According to the table, 0.11 percentage of decision makers in the neutral frame, 0.30 percentage of decision makers in the positive frame and 0.12 percentage of decision makers in the negative frame did not adjust the system recommendation. This is something interesting because the simple rationale is that if the participant trusts the system, then they try to use the exact system recommended quantity as their order quantity. Then the percentage of decision makers who do not adjust the system recommendation should be similar to the percentage of decision makers who trust the system. However, in here, it is completely the opposite. However, when we compare these results, we found that even though decision makers trust the system recommendation, they are less likely to use the exact system recommended quantity as their order quantity. Thus, they use the system recommendation as a benchmark when adjusting order quantities. We extended our analysis by combining the trustworthiness of the system with the magnitude of the adjustments. Our results reveals that the decision makers tend to make small adjustments to system recommendation when they trust the system at a high level. On the other hand, when they trust the system at a low level, they tend to make large adjustments. This is the most important part of the research goal framing effect analysis. As theory suggests, when options are framed in terms of potential gains, the decision maker is more likely to be risk averse, indicating a propensity for a gain than a loss of equal size. On the other hand, when options are framed as potential losses, performance are reversed and thus the decision maker tend to become risk seeking, showing a propensity for a loss than a gain of equal size. We identified a significant goal framing effect when decision makers are given access to system recommendation. That is, decision makers in the negative treatment order more quantities than system recommendation result in over ordering and those in positive treatment order fewer quantities than the system recommendation causing under ordering. The results of ANOVA analysis confirms a significant difference in cost between the two groups. Since the stockouts are costlier than excesses, Participants in negative treatment incurred lower costs than participants in the positive treatment. We found that decision makers in the negative treatment capture more demand while reducing stockout as a result of ordering more quantities. Further, we suggest that if the profit is emphasized for decision makers, they seem to be biased towards underordering, resulting in a higher cost. Thus, our results show that presenting the decisions by emphasizing on cost reduction greatly reduces the cost as decision makers were able to reduce stockouts with overordering. I am very happy to say that our research was accepted and we presented it in Euroma 2021 conference. Thank you so much and have a nice day.